Welcome to our first episode of Rags to Riches with Aubrey Go Darkly. Do you have any clue who I based this character off of? Do ya? I don't know. I'm just screwing around with her face a little bit. Pulling on her ears, tugging on her eyeballs, shoving things up her nose and trying to squish it in all the right directions. I was looking at pictures of Audrey Hepburn from Breakfast at Tiffany's, because for some reason I'm like, hey, this seems like a good idea. Now we're checking out some hair. I was trying to go for the beehive, sweeped bangs type of thing. And get the appropriate attire, hats, glasses, jewelry. And Audrey, even in this movie, does not wear a great deal of makeup. And what she does wear is very neutral and natural looking for the most part. She is going to be one fancy homeless chick, isn't she? Anyway, you guys have decided to get her into Sulani. I don't know if it's because you want her to suffer or what. Because let me tell you, uh, she did not fare so well on the first week. Just trying to get her dressed nicely. Because who doesn't want to go digging for seashells in a formal gown? Everybody does. In the movie, Audrey, it was a dressing combination of orange or really coral, pink, and black. and white, which really still continued to stay Audrey's signature colors and look throughout her life, though less formal in her later years, especially when she was doing all of her UNICEF work. She's almost done. Just a few finishing touches, because you never know what kind of a party she's going to be invited to while she's digging around all stankin' and not even having a penny to her name, or simoleon rather. There she is. She's pretty much done, so let's get her into the world now. We decided to go with Spring. Thought I would give her the best chance at survival. And this is the lot that I chose for her to be in because it had water, but it had plenty of land for gardening because gardening is one of the best and one of my most favorite ways to earn money in a rags to riches type of situation. I sent her out to fish after I let her swim for just a minute and then she wasn't doing very well. And she kept getting pissed off at the thunderstorm and getting really tense, and so I kept setting her back on the line. But she finally started catching some fish. So we did that for a while. And most of the time it came up empty. Where did it go? It was never there to begin with, my dear. Then I sent her out to try to dig up some seashells. Again, no luck like no luck at all. So we did that for a while. Oh, and this rain, man. She kept getting ticked off at it. Oh my gosh, this girl has a temper. Eventually, I sent her over to the other side of that far island where the waterfall is to see what she could find over there in terms of plants, looking for frogs in the waterfall, and a few other things.
finally, she has a little bit of luck. Not much. I think this has got to be the most unluckiest sim I've ever had. She had to pee, so I sent her up to the potty and then I asked her to go check out the trash can and rummage around for a bit to see what she could find. And of course, nothing. Good job. And then another trash can. She's a trashy kind of gal, what can I say? Takes after her mother. And since it's raining and she's tense, what better thing to do next than to fish? And you know what she came out of that fishing session with? You're right. So much nothing that I decided to send her home. She was so tense, so much rain. She was like, I'm over this. So we just went home. She at least made it till the end of the day and she did get some things to sell. Not a great deal, but it was something. Better than nothing. We're keeping the frog because we're going to use that to breed other frogs when we catch more frogs. Sold some fish. There was still daylight left, so I sent her back over to the other side of the island uh, and we went up the path towards the volcano. We found a couple of rocks to hit and she did come away with the fire opal, I believe. I don't know, it's a red one, but it was nice. It gave her some cash. Yay. Fire topaz, that's what it was. And then we went back over to the waterfall to see if we could grab another frog. And the frogs were still running since her last sprinkle of bait. And she caught one. So now we are on our way to being a world-class frog breeder. Oh my god. Dreams come true, right? Right. Anyway, she was getting cold and hungry and... So we went over to the tiki bar. There's a bathroom over there. There's food to eat. She does have a little bit of money now so she can buy some food and maybe a beverage or two at the bar and just relax and enjoy some social company and some television. You know, give her a bit of a break. She did okay today. She tried, which is more than I can say for myself today. Poor girl was so tired she passed out in the hot tub. So I let her sleep there for a little while. She was warm and cozy. Why wake her? It's fine. I wish I could fall asleep in a hot tub. That'd be nice. We pretty much stayed here for the rest of the night. Thank you so much for joining me this afternoon, y'all. If you enjoyed this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe and throw on those notification bells so you know when I drop my next video. Take care guys, be well, happy, and peaceful, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.